Hello, and this race is about our, our public safety, our infrastructure, and economic development in the downtown. I've been working on these important issues for 10 years, and there's nobody else who's got the track record of success that I have in bringing sensible policy solutions to the table. Okay, that sounds like a good speech, speech. but yeah. Hi, Lisa. first tell us your name hey. and what what race you're yep. in. Awesome. My name is Christopher Constant, and I am running for the downtown assembly seat April 2017. Okay, and so what are these things that you have already a proven track record on? So over the last several years, four friends of mine and I actively worked with 11 community councils, went to the legislature and secured $4 million that are now being used to take homeless people off the street and put them into housing. So we've been very active in helping the mayor come up with solutions for the homeless issue. I've engaged in all of those assembly meetings for the last year and a half on figuring out what we're gonna do to improve the quality of life for those individuals who are living on the street and also for those of us who live in the neighborhoods in which the camps exist. Uh, we worked hard and I'm not anti-alcohol, but we. Have had to close a liquor store down in our neighborhood because of the major public safety threat that it was causing. They were selling to drunk people. There were a mob of about 50 people outside of the store. The day after we closed them down, we actually saw all of the drunks disappear, but what was left was an active sex trade that was happening in the middle of it, which the FBI and the police have actually come in and cleaned out. So we've been making progressive and positive change you know, to the quality of life. Uh, other issues we're working on, it's kind of bread and butter city municipal issues, it's roads and housing policy. We've been working for years to re-envision the Gamble Street corridor and the work we're doing there is has revealed that there is a disconnection between all of the major highway and road projects in the downtown. We're spending money on a bridge, we're spending money on a 36th Avenue exchange at Gamble Street, and our roadways don't actually connect. The environmental impact study for the roads actually stopped at 3rd Avenue for that bridge, and so people don't know the impacts that these mega projects are having, but what they're really doing is they're creating a shadow of development where people won't invest. If you go between Gamble and Ingra, you'll see it. The buildings are dilapidated, you have people that are haunting the streets. There's no positive change that will happen until there's actually a plan for what's going to go on there because no investor will put their treasure in a project that might be bulldozed in 15 years for a highway. And so we need answers. And people think road projects don't have anything to do with humans, but really, they're holding the human layer from developing. And so I want to work on that. The housing policy, I could go on. We have... I, well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, sometimes it's hard to stop someone because they yeah. they never pause long enough. You're to, right. I'm sorry. Where to take a break. And it's just, there's so much. Okay. Now, that's, that's cool. Let me just ask... I'm trying to think what voters would like to know, which is, all right, so what do you do to pay the rent? Oh, well, I actually do two things. I work at a company called Aquila. It's a statewide provider of drug and alcohol treatment services. I'm the grants and contracts director, so I help to raise the money that keeps the treatment services happening across the state. I also have kind of a side business where I do real estate, and I work in the listing and selling of real estate in town. So I kind of have a really good sense of what the housing market is doing, and that's the job. Okay, so, you, so you're a businessman as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I... Okay, <laughs> simplify it.